let's now look at how to construct a locus of points which are equidistant from a b and b c so this type of question means how you can bisect an angle and how we're going to identify the angle that we're going to bisect we're going to check the letter that is common so we have a b then we have also side b c so our side b there is common so we need to bisect our angle b and for us to bisect our angle b we're going to get our compass and we're going to put it at point b because we are trying to bisect the angle at b so with any radius we're going to construct an arc on line a b also we're going to construct an arc on line b c so let us do that so we're going to construct an arc on line a b there then we're also going to construct an arc on line b c you don't have to change this radius so using the same radius we're going to construct another arc on line b c after we do that we're going to get our compass and we're going to put it here we're going to put it on the arc that we had drawn on line a b then we're going to increase this radius from the initial radius that we had used so we're going to construct an arc then without changing this radius we're going to get our compass and we're going to put it on the arc on line uh, b c and we're going to draw an arc so let us draw an arc there that's going to cut the first arc. So we have done that. As you can see, these two arcs are cutting uh, each other at this point. So we're going to draw a line that starts from point B and it's going to pass through uh, the two points where these two arcs are cutting each other. After we do that, that means that we have drawn a locus of points which are equidistant from AB and BC or we have bisected our angle at B. So let us construct that line. So draw our line to start at point B there. Then it has to pass through this point where these uh, two uh, arcs are cutting each other. So when we draw that line, that means that we have constructed a locus of points which are equidistant from a b and b c so we have questions please ask in the group or you can put them in the comment section and i'll be able to respond